So this can be hard to talk about. It's fine. Let's get emotional. This is my spinal fusion vlog. I had spinal fusion surgery done June 16th, 2022. Throughout the process of my spinal fusion surgery, while I was staying in the hospital and a little bit of recovery after, I filmed it. <laughs> I don't know why, but I guess all the meds and the drugs kind of made me want to film it, or maybe I was just really bored in the hospital. All that to say, this is a video of kind of me documenting my journey. All in all, would not recommend. However, um, this is a journey that I had to go through. This is a very major surgery if you don't know very much about it, but it's a very major surgery and it's a big thing to come back from. So I think it's cool that I did this. What's up guys? It is June 16, 2022 and we're leaving to go get spinal surgery done. Let's go! Got my book here that I may or may not read, probably not. A little bag full of stuff, my pillow, dad stuff, and then I also have my suitcase in the back to stay in the hospital. So let's get this spine straight. That first day after I woke up, woke up about four or five o'clock, I believe, it was super rough to say the least. I did not film anything of that day after because it was just so much. The next morning, Friday, June 17th, I woke up and started filming some things. Hey guys, we're here in the hospital. It is Friday morning. What time is it? 6.13. 6.13, of course. 6.13. And we chilling out here. I'll give you a bed tour. This is my barf bag in case I throw up again. This is the hospital bear they gave me. I named it Georgia when I was like half awake. And that's not the bears. And I got stuff on my chest. And all on my hand. And then I got that IV. And on this one too. And I have a scar on my back because they cut me open with scissors. Did they use scissors or a knife? Or a, ne or a needle? With a knife. And my voice is raspy because I stuck something down my throat and so it's kind of hurting. And now it's kind of weird. That's the update. This is, this is Carol, and that's Heather. There's one over there, I need to name. And that's Kim, and that's my fan. Yeah, my back hurts. Yay. Hey guys, it's much later now, and I'm eating breakfast. It is, what time is it? It's like 10.30. 10 and I moved my thumb cord on this side now. Still got all the IVs going, but they had to take my blood this morning at six, or at four, but then it like tested really weird. And it said my like blood cells were all messed up. And so they redid it just to make sure, because if they were, I would be feeling like terrible, which I mean, I don't feel great, but yeah. And so they had to prick my finger to get like, just check my glucose, glucose or something like that and so then that one was at like 90 something and it, earlier it said it was at like 30 so it lied to us and they think that it got like infected so that's why i have this band-aid on my pinky like or my finger like elf yep so after my surgery i stayed in the icu and in the intensive care unit for about I'd say about 24 hours and then I moved into a different room upstairs. We're on the move. It is hot girl summer. It's healing what girl a... summer too. Hey, um, I'm gonna get you fully off the app. So I look gonna... tragic. I'm gonna the universe now. I brought you food, so you give me food in return. Wow. So it's a symbiotic I just pay for that out of my own pocket. Hey girl. Hey look, who's gonna tell me I look like this? 
Once I got moved back out of the ICU, got a little better. I was having some sort of allergic reaction on my face and you can kind of see and like tell that I'm just so drugged and like having reaction. Hey guys, update time. We're in the new room and my face looks really weird. I have a bunch of different random clips of meals that I ate and just kind of things like that where else, and I look at them now and I can still taste them vividly and I like want to throw up. Like I can't look at them, I can't think about them just because of what it reminds me of. I don't know what's going on. I'm eating my supper at spaghetti, chocolate milk, mashed potatoes, and a roll, and chocolate ice cream. My face looks weird. And everything hurts. Goodbye. But I think something that's cool to look back on these clips is kind of seeing my personality like defrost a little. Like I feel like I'm become more like myself, like not even close to being 100%, but you can tell kind of those layers being peeled back. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. It is currently, what time is it? 1240. 12.40 and we have lunch coming on the way. We're chilling here, had kind of a rough night. The whole, whole gang's here except Haley. Kimmy's over there trying to take a nap and we're bothering her. And that's Lily. And Daddy's right there. And I'm laying down. Oh, something that was really cool. We come into this room, this new room, and it's been it's been rough. We're in the hospital and it's not the most fun place to be in. We come into this room and there's this painting on the wall. It's done by a kid and it's signed Maggie B, which is like my name, Maggie B. And we're like, what? So that was just a crazy coincidence. And so I passed self who was very drugged, talked about that like a lot because I was like, that's just so cool. That's Mark. And look at this painting. This just came in here. It was here when I came in and it said Maggie B. And that's my name, except I didn't paint that. So I think that's pretty crazy, don't you? Yeah. Lily agrees. In fact, that is pretty crazy. Hey guys, it is now Sunday, right? Mm -hmm. My hair's insane. Here's mom. Did you? How did you sleep last night, mom? Let the people know. Um, I slept a little bit better. Having a hard time waking up today. It's her See bed. That? that is not comfortable at all. Mine's not very comfortable either. I slept harder and like long. Not longer. I still got woken up, but I did slept. get longer stretches of time. We did, and I just finished eating breakfast, and they said I might be able to go home today. So, in this morning, they took off my benches, and I got to walk yesterday up down the hall. Which I, aren't they coming back today too? Mhm. Mm so we're gonna do that again. Let's go. Okay. Let's hey guys. New video, same bed. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it is. Who this? What time is it, Dad? It's eleven twenty. It's eleven o'clock on Sunday. It's actually Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. What would you rate this Father's Day on a scale of one to thirty-six? Thirty-nine. That's pretty good, if you ask me. Lily's here too. Say hi, Lily. And I still got the ET finger going on, but I took my brace off because it's hurting, and I'm like bleeding through this. So. I ended up going home on the Sunday after my surgery. I had surgery on Thursday. Ended up going home and uh, that process was the worst. But good news, they're letting me go home tonight. Yeah. And I started my period while I was taking a thick nap and I got all over the bed sheets. Yeah. And that's why we changed. I was like, what are you gonna do if you're like on it while you get the surgery? Like That was my fear because I was like, I'm about to start it, so I but just, like, anyways, I still have this band-aid on because they pricked my finger and then I got this IV here and this one here and stuff under this brace and then we took off the stuff on my chest and the stuff on my legs and we straight chilling. We still got the, did I show you guys the picture of the penguin? I think I did. Yeah, we still have the penguin paint going on here. We are all packed up over here. Window. Dad, do you want to say anything to the viewers? No. First off, just being in the car after that, like, was very hard. And then second off, just healing at home and healing throughout the summer. 
was just insane. It was just not the most fun ever. Happy Father's Day, Daddy. Yeah. Happy Father's Day. This is Elvis. 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 Elvis and Ethel. Elvis and Ethel. Anybody? It progressed as quickly as I could. I took a lot of walks and uh, had to wash my hair in a bucket, laying off the edge of the bed, which was very hard. So could, didn't really shower on my own for a couple weeks, which was also very gross, but you know. Hey guys, we're just washing my hair in a bucket and I'm laying on the edge of the bed. Let's go. You know, spinal fusion things. Right. Good times. First walk. Yeah, so took lots of walks and eventually got to my two week appointment. Hey guys, we're here with Kim. What are we doing today? So today is our two week appointment and we're gonna get your wound check. Let's go! And do we get an extra today? I don't know. We're here getting, we'll have to find out. getting post op. And I just had my first car ride since the last car ride. <laughs> so, let's go! We're here for the post op appointment, and uh, I'm gonna have to try to get out of the car now. It's gonna be really hard. So, let's go. We're gonna walk in. Right there is where I left like a week ago. It's crazy. Like the turns have tabled. And then my three month appointment. Hey guys, it is doctor's appointment day. It is our second post op appointment. And super excited because we are going to get a new x ray and see how much it grew. And that's all I know that we're doing. But um, we are on our way now. Super, super excited. Because really? maybe you can start tying your own shoes now. Maybe, we'll see. <laughs> Anyways, on our way to the doctor, let's go. I'm scared to talk too loud. Hey guys, we're at my post op appointment. Fit check. Fit check goes strong. We're about to get an x ray. I am now officially 5'8. Let's go. There's so many things I could explain about this surgery, but. I really felt the calling and the need to kind of put this out there and show other people kind of my story. And I feel like it's a cool way to, for me to be able to look back on it. If you have the same situation or you have a completely different situation, there's no situation like this at all, that's okay. But you are not alone. And I just wanted to show people that like you aren't alone in this and it is scary, but you're able to get through it. And I think that's what I kind of want to show myself too. Like, look at me now, like I'm still not fully recovered, but I like to look back on this and see how far I've come. That's my spinal fusion surgery vlog, my spinal fusion surgery video. I hope this helps somebody. So thank you so much for watching this and for listening and watching my story. You are not alone and that's just the facts. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Bye.